Hi everyone. In honor of National Bicycle Day today, we are taking the opportunity to give you guys a tutorial on something that we've been having a lot of fun with. And um, so it's right behind me here. We recently just picked this up off of uh, Facebook Marketplace. We are turning it into something that we can take our dog with us on. Uh, it's something I wanted to do for a while because I think it would be fun. Um, but also just a cool opportunity to be able to take our, take our dog places with us uh, when we don't want to drive um, like downtown or if you know that there's going to be a lot of parking issues. So that's what we have been working on. And I want to show you guys the process that we use to really get copper comfortable in this. Um, it's really important that you take it slow. You don't want to just expose your dog to something all of a sudden, have him be locked in there and expect him to be okay with it moving down the busy, bumping streets because that's not going to work for him. So we're taking it nice and slow. So the first thing you want to do when you are working on something like this with your dog that's a little unique is you really want to make sure they have a solid place command. If your dog does not know place, um, which is just getting on an object and staying on it, there's no way that they're going to get in a weird object that is moving and is going to be bumping around on the road. So the first thing you want to do is teach a really solid place command. And once your dog really understands that place means stay on an object, then you want to start to get them on really weird objects. Um, so literally anything that you can find. We use storage containers, uh, laundry baskets, slides at the park, benches, um, I don't know, anything weird that we can think of. The orange push carts at Home Depot, we push dogs around on those. It helps build confidence, but it also just teaches them that um, we're going to keep them safe. We're going to control the situation. They just need to perform the command, which is staying on the object, and uh, they'll be rewarded for it. Once you have that, the next step is going to be to get your dog to realize that this is now a place where he can relax at, for the place command as well. Place. Go ahead. Break. Boy. Break. Good. Place. So now that we've got them comfortable jumping in and out of it a bunch, um, the next phase is to uh, ask him to stay in it a little bit longer. So I'll get him in it, tell him place, and then I'm going to have him wait for a little bit before I get out. Go away. Go away. Good, yes. Go away. 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 So I've been adding a lot of distractions. I really want him to be comfortable being calm in here, regardless of what's going on. You could see as soon as I threw a ball, he broke command and went after it. Uh, so that tells me that I need to make sure to add some more distractions, um, especially balls this morning are a big distraction for him. And uh, so you will keep working on that. But now that I have him in a good state where he is being nice and calm on here, the next thing is I need to pattern a down command. So the way that this works, I'm going to tell him place, he'll get in it, and then I'll immediately tell him down. I will treat him when he's down, and then we'll break. And we'll do that lots of times so that he understands every time I get in here, I just need to lie down. Place. Down. 
Yes. Break. Good. Place. Down. Yes. Break. Good. Place. Down. Yes. Break. Good. Place. Down. Yes. All right, so you're going to do that step until your dog starts to offer you a down as soon as they get in. So the next step is to work on duration and also to work on closing the top. So first we'll do closing the top um, because for safety that has to be closed and he needs to be okay with being in that confined space. Um, so we'll keep that nice and short to make sure he really feels comfortable with it. Uh, and then we'll add in duration. Because he's doing well, I want him to get comfortable in here. Good boy. So I'm leaving this open so that I can still give him treats. And he's just learning that it's okay for him to be in here. He is safe. And he's going to get rewarded for this. Go ahead, boy. Go boy. So we've done a great job of getting him in, getting him to lie down, getting him to be comfortable with it closed a little bit. So the next step is to start moving. All right, so I'm going to get him in it. I'm going to remove the blocks and then we're just gonna move it back and forth a little bit. If he does well, we'll start moving it around more. If he is not doing well and he gets nervous, we'll slow it down a little bit. He's gonna let us know his comfort level and we're gonna use that to continue with the training. Good, good boy. 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 Good We've done a fantastic job of getting him comfortable with it. I am not yet comfortable taking him out on the road fully for an actual bike ride um, because he needs a lot more practice. This is definitely a safety thing where I really want to make sure that regardless of what he sees, what he feels, he will be comfortable staying calm and in it down on here um, because when I'm biking, um, he's not going to have my full attention. I need to pay attention to the road, what's going on around me. So I need to 100% trust that he is going to be as calm as he is right now with that top down as we're moving. And uh, I'm just not there yet because it's going to take time and practice. Um, happy World Bike Day, everybody. I hope that you are able to get out and enjoy your bikes, even if it's not with a dog. Um, but I just thought that this would be a fun tutorial to show you guys on how to uh, have some different and fun experiences with your dog than you normally would.